Hey guys, it's Robert Francis. Today is on, I often talk about staying rational in this in the social context. And I want to explain a little bit more about what that means. But before I get to that, please allow me to uh, conduct my prelude. My name is Robert Francis. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score of five. That's 25 years. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of medical confidentiality. And uh, this is my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. So I often talk about managing my behavior in the social context and not acting erratically around others, saying erratic things or behaving erratically despite my cognitive turmoil. In the end, I tell you, it all comes down to my values that I choose. In the social context, I don't really expect much from other people. Um, if I am on the receiving end of kindness and uh, humor and empathy, well, that's great. But I don't necessarily um, expect it. What I do expect is how I behave towards others. And that's based on my values. I value empathy. I value respect and kindness and sometimes humor. I, uh, I value being uh, gentle with other people and trying to say nice things to people sincerely. And so I behave according to those values. And... Uh, when I'm interacting with others in a social context, that's my governance. Uh, I conduct myself according to those values. And I even extend those values um, firstly and without necessarily expecting uh, reciprocation. So in the end, I extend on my values, my inner personal values that I carry. And that's how I um, stay um, rational. I behave according to my values. So that's part of uh, staying rational in the social context. I hope that explains it a little bit. Thank you for joining me. This is the extent of my political leanings. Mikhail Bird, Boston Celtics, 1986, world champs. Larry Bird's my favorite player of all time in basketball. And uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.